Hi out there, it's me, Chris, the Blues Clues fan, oh, one here, and today, I'm here with this very special video, and I'm not here alone, I'm also with, um, I'm also talking to my other best friends, uh, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Tyler, and I'm the host of Blues Clues. Hi, I'm Ryan Boyd, know me from Caloric Clear 9 Productions, I also do a Blues Clues series on my channel called Blues Clues Drawings. And guys, today... I'm very excited to show you guys this. The Blue Prince Pilot has just been revealed after 25 years. This is really exciting, you guys. I'm so excited to, to show you guys. Um, but unfortunately, they only showed uh, more clips of the pilots. They uh, they didn't show the entire, the, the entire full episode of the pilot, though. But yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, to show you guys some uh, sneak peeks of it, so let, let's get to it. So as you can see, uh, right here is the whole title of the of the Blueprints pilot. So uh, here we go. Hi out there, it's me, Steve. So yeah, as you can see, uh, the book just opened like the way an original yeah, like series the of original Blues Clues series. does. Yeah, yeah, exactly though. But and Steve. Just the same way, like popping out of the right window. And also, I, I also forgot to, to mention this. It never aired on TV. Whatsoever. Oh. Like. Any other new information oh, yeah. that was revealed is um, for years people th thought that the pilot was done in 1995. No, it is officially confirmed that it was indeed from 1994 after months of speculation it has been revealed it is officially in 1994. yep 1994. dick jr even confirmed it themselves that's right if, if you um take a look at the house i mean comparing to uh in the original series excuse me um sorry about that uh like like i said uh comparing to the uh, original series of blues clues uh, the house um it looks so much different between those two like it, it looks um for the house in the pilot episode it looks more uh 3d like um or or maybe is it is it Car cartoonish like more like 2d well, cartoonish. yeah okay yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go with that yeah it's yeah. um but as you can see there is no mailbox i, I don't think mailbox is, is around uh in this area because usually he's um like right he's, he's in the front he's in the front well yeah he is in front of the the house um to right towards to the right though and and another thing there is no apple tree right next to the house what? it hasn't existed though like inside the pilot though this yeah, it, look, it, look, it looks very plain. It just looks, you know, yeah, it's just kind, of like, flowers kind of like in the middle of just, nowhere. Yeah, it's yeah, just like flowers right next to it and just a pathway. And... Yeah, like, but this is really good, though. It's just only in a pilot, though. So, yeah, it, it's only a pilot. Yeah. Yeah, like I tried to say, they got to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, here's the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys this is the part where Steve finds his very first clue. And as you can see, um, in the pilot, the, the clue on the cup, it has two properties of it. Like, not one, but two. Yeah, exactly, though. Like, comparing to the uh, original series, um, it only has one property on that cup. But then for the pilot, only has two. How crazy is that? And then, um, and they did some uh, chopping down of those two poppers. I don't know how they did it though, but they really did a good job though. I I, I gotta say. And uh, for the crayons, as you can see, um, I'm not sure you guys can see it yeah, though, but like carefully. on the left, yeah. Like somehow they look like Crayola crayons. Exactly, Crayola like crayons. Coffee. Yeah, they're original size Crayola crayons, like. Uh, about like this big though, like, but like this size. So yeah, yeah. And Steve, and Steve too looks 
And Steve too looks a little different. If, if you guys seen the clip and if you saw it from a couple years back, um, Steve has obviously um, the pants and the shoes are the same. However, uh, Steve's uh, shirt uh, is uh, entirely uh, different. Uh, the shirt is different. Um, and for years it's been speculated, is it red, is it pink, is it orange? Angela's confirmed, right. Angela confirmed that the shirt is indeed orange, which makes Steve technically the first Blue Clues host to wear an orange shirt, even before Joe, which is very, very strange. No, and, also, and also Steve's hair, as you can see, unlike the first season where, you know, it's the same hairstyle, but the difference being in the pilot, it's the same hairstyle, but it's a little bit longer and there's bangs in the front. Whereas in season one, it was cut a bit shorter. You know, actually, from what, it's like, what it looks like from here, I, I think it's more like um, sort of a reddish orangey color, I, I suppose. But if it's regular orange, then it, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally yeah. fine. But it, it's so good, though. I can judge like, if it's confirmed. At least we have the first clue revealed. But this is, this is really interesting. But actually, another thing about the paw prints, though, I think it's like the same position as the third clue of the cow probably in the pilot date it, it might would have done the same thing but if not it's it's fine okay guys so if you guys know the notebook take a look at the notebook though like literally there is no thinking chair in front of the oh, front yeah. cover oh okay i see it absolutely no thinking chair in the front cover Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it is a plain yellow cover. Also, the back of the notebook oh, had nothing originally. It was just yellow. plain black, and the it's crayon yellow. too was also yellow. No, yep. or it been no green whatsoever. Yellowish green, hard to tell due to the editing quality. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, you're, you're right, Tyler. You're, you're right. Um, but as you can see, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but um, if you take a good close at the spiral, um, it, it looks... They must have used some kind of like a thin wire uh, to make the spiral go. But as you can see... This... Okay. Between you guys and me, this honestly reminds me of my very first prototype and game notebook for those years. Yeah, so um, as I was saying, um, as you can see, uh, if you look closely at the spiral of that notebook, there is no crayon catcher for this one, but there wasn't no crayon in there, but there, there is, um, if I move a little bit, Okay, see, that right there is the crayon, though. Because usually, in the original series, um, the, the crayon was in the spiral of the notebook. But then Steve uses other hands to, to grab it, though, and then and then just uh, write it down with his notebook, though. So, yeah, there was no crayon catcher back back then, so... Uh, it didn't open, though. Yeah. Yeah, the spiral is very, very hard to notice i don't think there was a spiral i think i think they must have like i don't know how they must have you know put it together that's something that angel or someone else is gonna have to reveal but like my yeah. guess is probably they used wires or maybe something whatever to stick it all together um but yeah as i but yeah notebook was very different no couch on the front very plain notebook very dull and boring and not really exciting i thought the notebook would look a lot better um, but, but hey, you know, it's, it, it, it's great to see the pilot notebook finally revealed, um, even yeah, though it is a bit Yes, yes. Yeah. Finally revealed, yes. Alright. Also, another thing, like, the bedroom, too, um, I think, um, the bedroom, out of all the rooms in the house, I think the bedroom was like one of the few things that they kept in the final series because it's the same thing, purple background and everything. Whereas in the My other purple. houses, um, yeah, whereas in the other houses, 
I mean, other rooms, sorry, not houses. Um, <laughs> in the other rooms, in the final series, obviously, it's more of an orangey background with like, and stuff. But in the pilot, everything, almost everything in the house is yellow. The right. whole entire right. chair area, the entire play area was all yellow. Then it was changed in the final episode, in the final series, and the only yellow thing they kept was the kitchen. That's right. The yellow kitchen. <laughs> okay, so um, now for this part, this is where the part of when Blue and Steve could do for the very first time. And as you can see here, um, it's like in the same position where Steve said, Blue just went right into that picture of that barn. Like comparing to the uh, to the original series of Blue's Clues, and another surprising thing of where Steve has his very first skidoo. So um, let's get a get a look at that. Right into the picture of that farm. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, lots, that, lots of differences there. That lots was his of very first skidoo. Lots of differences there. Um, first off. No blue skidoo we can do. Bet that didn't exist yet. Also, he didn't do the motion and didn't do the um, the spin around. Obviously, it was very different. He just spun around, taps his feet, and then the spin effect, I think, what they did for that, I think they just did like a swirl instead of the, the spin around. And um, also, another thing, if you, list, if you look at him skidooing, no sound effect. No sound Absolutely effects at no all. Sound no whatsoever. sound effects at all back then. Yeah. yeah. And and the farm and when he excludes in the farm, it kind of looks the same as in the final episode, meaning there's barely any changes. And also, um, in the behind the clues, there is a brief scene where the kids were watching the TV. They did show a brief scene of Steve with the chickens in his hand. And the chickens look the same too. So I think so I think so I think the farm the whole farm sequence, other than Steve being different and Blue being different, everything else stayed the same. That's right. Yeah. I remember watching that at the time. Watching behind groups with my friends. Exactly, yeah. Okay, now this this next scene of well actually this is the final scene that um that we're gonna be talking about. So right here is the mail time oh song. God. That's where uh, Stephen oh, Blue oh, 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 oh. does the mail time song, like in the original series, but in the pilot, it's way more different. So, so let's take a look oh, at yeah. that. Here's, Here's the, the mail, mail, it never fails to make me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Okay, so yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the, um, the mail time song that. Well, the Stephen Blue did. Large <laughs> in the beginning was what as accurate as we've seen in the final version. The wag my tail was definitely very different. Yeah, I. So I think, yeah. I think the, uh, I the entire game, the wag my tail part was very, very different. Very, while very, very different. Same. Yes. Yeah. Also, another another thing um, I noted, and I actually told Chris this yesterday when we originally recorded this, but if you guys actually listen very closely to the song, um. In Blue's Clues, obviously, when a song comes on, obviously what what everyone does, you go to a studio, you record the song, and you and when it's time to edit the whole thing, you just you know edit it during post production. But when I listen to the mail time segment in the clip, I think they I think what they did originally was they must have played the song live in the studio. And Steve just sitting right on top of it. Because if you listen closely, there's two vocals. There's the vocal from the studio version, and then you hear Steve singing live right on top of it. It's very, it's more mostly noticeable when he does the wag my tail part. But if you listen very closely, like with your headphones, it's very, very noticeable. So I think what happened yeah. was yeah. in the pilot, they did the songs live in the studio, like played it in a in the background while Steve just sang right on top of the original backing track. That's right. So, Which um, Marcy yeah, was, has ever done, they ever done that. Yep, very first time they did it though, yeah, because obviously it's the pilot. <laughs> yeah. And it's also, it's also unknown at this time if Mailbox 
does appear or does not appear in the pilot, even though they did do the mail time segment. What I'm thinking is also with mail with mailbox um not being seen at the front, this makes me think that the mail time segment must have been done very differently back then. Maybe mailbox did not appear and maybe they did the mail time segment much differently before mailbox became a thing. Could or who be, knows, mailbox be. might have been in the pilot, but but without but until we see more until we see the whole thing or maybe more clips, that is as of right now unknown. Yeah, so um, I definitely want to see the full left. So all of us do. Not not sure. only not yeah. only you, Tyler, but all of us do. But yeah. yeah. All of us barely barely want to see I the agree. full pilot though. But um everybody tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but for uh what Ryan said, uh for Mobox, who he might be uh, look the same in the original uh, series, but but who knows? Like, yeah, and, and that's the other thing we don't know what he looks like. We don't know if it, if he if his design stayed true to the original show, or if his design looked a whole lot different. Yeah, hopefully he'll look the same like in the original series. Shade of what he was in the final version. Much yeah. more color version of the mailbox we know today. Or, or, or the theory I put it out is maybe mailbox never appeared, and maybe they did the mail time segment differently back then. Possibly, possibly, possibly yeah. Be like a mailman instead of a mailbox. Yeah, yeah it, Wait, yeah, a mail what? That, like a mailman. Yeah, a mail. Oh, I, I didn't thought about that. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. A cool theory I have in a cool theory I have in mind is like. When the mail time segment is done, Steve like goes to the front door, and maybe there's like a hand that comes out and goes like special delivery, and then <laughs> Steve gets the letter, then goes to the banking chair and does the mail time segment. That's my guess. But again, until until we see either more clips or the full pilot, we don't know if mailbox is in the pilot or not in the pilot. Because so far, the only four the only four people confirmed in the pilot that's been said so far are Steve, Blue, Mr. Saul, Mrs. Pepper, and Side Table Drawer, who, if you actually look at the yeah. show, she yeah. is in the background, but it's unknown if like she, if she played like a role in the pilot or not. But we do know Mr. Saul and Mrs. Pepper did, confer- by the fact of Mr. Saul's voice actor confirming, yes, they were in the pilot, and Mr. Saul originally was had a Brooklyn accent instead of the French accent that he was well known for. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, what were they mean by that? So Mr. Saul originally, um, um, so in the show, Mr. Saul speaks in this, you know, this French accent, you know, like, oh, hello, blue, you know, all those, that, but originally in the pilot, hello. yeah, but in the pilot, apparently, Mr. Saul was very different. Apparently, Mr. Saul originally was going to have this Brooklyn accent, and um, I think his voice actor one time did like an example of it, and kind of where he goes, like he was gonna talk like this, you know, like hello blue, you know, like. Oh. Yeah, he was gonna th- he was gonna talk like that originally. Yeah. But they also changed yeah. it in the um, in later. And yeah. another thing I wanted to talk to you. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Scratch that. It, it can wait until I uh, play this uh, once once again. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Yeah, so if you guys yeah. already uh, heard that, they, they use um two they use two different tracks of of that. So uh one uh that's from the original series and the other one it, it's just the pilot of, of the song. So yeah. And another and, thing uh, I- and yeah, another thing I want to note is um, another song they actually included, which it has been confirmed um, in the CD version, I think, for the 10-year anniversary, they did release one song that Can was, that yeah, was yeah, that was from the pilot, Can You Help Me Today? That is definitely in the pilot. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. That, that also revealed. Yes. That also revealed in, in the pilot. Yes. And um, another thing I want to talk to you guys. Uh, take a, if you get uh, look close at the window, right there, it, it looks more cartoony. Like they, right. 
the window outside of it being cartoony looks a little more detailed. Exactly, yeah. Same with blue, too. Blue looks a lot different. Yeah, like even more though we're calling blue, just sticking out. <laughs> but yeah, which is really good, one. though. Which is really good, though. That's like a yeah. darker shade of blue for her nose, or it's just plain old black, like a... Uh, I say more like navy blue, but for maybe possibly black, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. Because um, in the show, blue's nose is royal blue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as of for the thinking chair of the pilot, it's still the same. It's still the same, same like in the original series. Wait, hold on. I, I'm going to... The thinking chair that they made? Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to see if, if I can get a... Okay, okay. right. Okay, that right there behind Steve. The thinking chair, it's still the same. And you can also see a little uh, close-up of the of side table drawer. I mean, comparing to uh, the side table drawer in the original series and the pilot, um, in the she original looks, series, uh, she oh, looks uh, more uh, red orange. And, and uh, by her outline, it looks like she's a little more hand-drawn. Really? I, I, I didn't... Like by the details of the foam... Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if they hand-drawn side table or what. Like, <laughs> hard to tell by the quality. Yeah, yeah. Very hard, yeah. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I, I think that's, um, that's, that's all we can talk about. So, um... Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to thank... All of you guys for watching this special video and hopefully um, oh wait no <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot to say this as of <laughs> okay as of uh, for the thinking chair I well I'm not well maybe not only me but all of us all of us really wondered what it like to be sitting on that thinking chair because um someone just posted on Instagram showing that they literally sit in the in the real thingy chair from Blue's Clues. Like that is so lucky for that user. I, I just I've always wondered what, what it's like to be sitting in, in that thingy chair, but I mean I, I could buy one like, but I don't have like any room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, I think that's it. So, that's all I can talk about. So, so guys, uh, I want to thank to all of you guys out there for watching this special video. Uh, want to shout out to, want to give a shout out to Tyler and Ryan. Uh, go subscribe to their channel as well. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Come back again soon.